Okay, in this video, we're going to be doing the continental purling. I'll teach you how to purl in the continental way instead of throwing. Again, I apologize for the light. I thought the sunlight would be perfect, but I need to find another way to do this. Um, so using the same swatch I was using before for the knitting, it's about 20 stitches. It's really loosely cast on. We're going to be doing purling. So your yarn will be in the front instead of the back. Again, I hold it the same way, so I'll show you. Bring it around the pinky, around, underneath that fourth finger, ring finger, and over the top. That just helps you to hold on to your yarn a little bit better, because it is a, it's a bit of a more loose gauge, like I was saying in the other video. So what I do is I usually use this finger at first to hold down the yarn and it just helps you to get the needle underneath your first stitch. So for purl wise what we're going to do is bring the needle underneath that first stitch in the front. So we're pulling, pushing it in the front of the stitch instead of going through with knitting like you would this way. We're going to go this way underneath that first stitch and bring the yarn up and around the needle and use the needle to hold on to that stitch and push it through to the back. So from the side it would be like this. You put it through the front, bring the yarn around and use the needle. Now you can hold the needle against your your right needle against your left needle just to give it a bit of a grip and you're bringing that stitch out the other end on your left, your sorry, your right needle so again you're pulling it in the front bringing it around this way underneath and through and you want to over time watch how far, oops we lost one, watch how far you're keeping your needles apart because that has a lot to do with how loose your gauge is but for instructional I'm just being kind of sloppy with it here so again we'll bring it through the front of the loop use your finger bring it around hold on to that stitch bringing it forward and underneath and through and in no time you'll be doing this nice and fast You'll be zooming through. It really, really is easy to do. I only started knitting like this about six months ago, and I swear by it. It's absolutely saved my fingers and my joints. It's helped my arms. It's helped me to be able to get into knitting again, which I had stopped for a very, very, very long time, and now I've gone kind of a bit crazy going back into knitting again. Bringing it through, going around, down, out the back. And it's all just about letting the needles do all of the work. Whereas with western or throwing method, your arms are doing most of the work. This way, you're letting the needles do all the work. So you're bringing it forward, bring the yarn around, down, out the back, and through. And another thing I used to do whenever I was just learning myself was I would bring my finger up here and hold on to that stitch, keep it on your right hand needle, and then pull it through just because your grip is going to be a little bit different than mine when you're first, le you're first learning how to do this. So, bringing it through, around, down, out the back, and off. Through, around, down, out the back, and off. And see what I did there with 
the yarn too, which will help your gauge over time, is bringing that stitch you've just made down the needle so it's closer to the ones that you've already made and slipping it off that way. So you don't have, because what happens is that yarn that's in between here, that big space, is how you have more of a loose gauge. But again, over time you'll find that you're able to uh, control that a little bit better. Around, out the back, and off. So it's through the stitch, around, down, out the back, and off. And that's it. And again, if you know anybody else that's stopped knitting and stopped enjoying knitting and you stop getting all their presents and stuff, <laughs> um, this is a great way to get back into it. It really, really, really is. I can't say enough about, um, I spent at least 20 years um, doing nothing but crochet and this got me back into knitting doing it this way so hopefully this helps um, as my lighting gets better I will put another video up so watch for that and I'm also putting up videos with some of the stitches I've made on some of my patterns that you can find on Scream the Pretty Parts. Thanks! Bye!